Gunterbots. Hello and welcome to Gunterbots. I'm your host, Walter. Yeah. I sort of already started doing some of the work here. A lot of purple but things. But let's kind of talk about what you see. Because we're installing the hub and using these hubs when That's we do these units. So PA hub zero is connected to port A, and then we have PB hub, or which is connected to port PA hub on PA hub five. Yes. Um, that is just very helpful. Let me show you this picture. Picture. Right, so let's take a look at how this is set up. So here is your M5 stack, and I have port the hand is amazing. connected it over points to everywhere. the PA hub, and then out of the port zero on the PA hub, I have the humidity sensor, which we'll talk about, which we sort of already sh uh, have sort of talked about with temperature. Then off of the zero, one, two, two three, three, four, five. five, five is connected over to the PB. Yes. Hub, which has one, two, three, four, five, six, and so Bean all of these have sensors. So we're going to use these uh, red. for it does make any sense. measuring the temperature, as we talked about yesterday, and uh, turning lights on and off, looking at the light, blink, 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 uh, blink, measuring blink, light blink, levels, blink, blink. and we'll measure the temperature too. Temperature this again. is port. This is PA hub connected to port A, A. and this is PB hub connected to PA hub yes. port five. So that's pretty awesome. You can look in here and you see and some of the stuff wow, on the screen, which looks kind like of crazy. Seven five something question mark question mark C question mark Y question mark. Clear the screen. Question mark. Yeah. And you're hearing the relays. Okay. So you see on the screen. Yes, I do uh, see on the screen. There's the six, the eight degrees, and then to the right of that, I am measuring the Motion? light level. Light. And then below that, you see two numbers. Those are both moisture level. We only need one of them. Yeah. Bye bye. And I'll talk through how this program is set up. So the challenge we have with Ooh. when we connect these, remember well, when we drop so units on the screen, we get them underneath here, which allows us to pick them. So like for here, for environment sensor, it makes sense, right? Environment sensor plugged into the PA yeah. hub. PA hub it zero. It moisture. It's an environment sensor. I can go and get Relay the pressure, turns the temperature, off and on. That's fine. That one sensor, he doesn't really talk no, about it. Hub, if I get but the two prongs, like that is the that water sensor. So, PB hub zero, position zero through five, as I yeah. talked through a minute ago, and then you have a digital read zero or one. So one is on, zero is off. What is that? Well, one thing you can take advantage of are functions. And yes. functions help you to they do rename stuff. something, almost like a variable, but this is a sort of an entire operation and you give it a name that you can remember and it makes it easier for code management but also to remember what you're doing. So let's start it off. So yes. for the light enable, remember we heard the relays clicking on and off? Mm -hmm. We know that we connected the light or two relays to two different ports on the pin. So if I can bring that up again. Boom. So if we look on here, we have zero, one, Two. What happened? Three, four, five. What do you okay. mean? There's a better way to do this. I was confused because you stopped talking. And it like circled. Alright, so as you can see here, like that. we switch between these two scenes. When we switch between the two screens, you can see this is the layout. Yes. And we have two relays. One relay is plugged into channel 5 of the PB hub. One is relay and connected to channel three, 3 of the PB hub. And we can pick whichever one we want. But for mm -hmm. this, I went ahead and picked the uh, channel 3 Number is going to be your light. This is position 3. Oh. And channel 5 oh, is going to be our, one of our pumps. We're just doing a pump enable right now. It could be a water pump or oh, it could be both. an air pump. Okay. I'm just going to use the light and the water pump for now because I have two relays. So this is kind of interesting. So when you drop the function on the screen, it looks like this. Uh. It's just do something. Drop it on the screen, and we have all sorts of things Ooh. we can do with this. Well, all you Why do is give it a name. So tired. We'll call this light relay enable. We then go it's to PB hub, and we grab really. the PB hub 
position digital right because this is a digital uh, event. It's going to turn on and yeah, turn it's off. It's all so zeros because it doesn't say anything one. unless you and set it. And we say digital right and we write value to one. Now we do the same for the light relay disable. We make another function using PB hub zero position three and then digital right zero. It's the same as one before. The only difference is everything's the same zero, except the one and zero just on off. Here's cool. So yes, this is a few like, you know a few like the value. Um, one line of code got a little extra thing on it. But the nice thing is if you look over here already, I've cheated. If you go back to functions, you can find the function light relay enable and light relay disable, and that turns it on. We're gonna wait a second. We need both we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna wait a second. Then we're gonna turn on the pump. We're gonna you wait a second. Then we're anything. gonna turn off the pump. Now that's really cool. You don't need to we don't really have a pump connected. All we have are the clicks. And then we'll move into the next part. We'll do click, the same click, thing click. for reading our sensor. So we have a light sensor and we have the moisture and it's sensor. It's dangerous to play with wires. The light sensor is so this guy right sure here. He's plugged into channel four. And, and if we go back, you can have an adult channel four. four Let's listen Read up again. Light sensor. This is the function we just created. Now the difference is I'm gonna talk a little bit yes. about this. One. So functions are things you can create to kind of give you one name, one line representation for a whole bunch of stuff. Variables are gonna be something similar. We Amazing. create them to store values. So what we want to do is we created a light value relay, which we here we call it new variable for instance and now you see that we have a new variable here and we have yes the ability to set that variable so we'll do two I'll just drop them on the screen so you can see them so this is a new variable this is set variable and as you see we have all of these options we have light value moisture level moisture level two don't worry about that one new variable and we can rename variables the so two is the these. one that we destroyed we we're like bam but ideally destroyed. same thing Take the variable where we have a light value, which we're going to drop onto this function block. There are two kinds. This one, which is just do something and doesn't care. This one is do something and then give me something back, right? I'm going to do something and whatever I do in there, I'm going to return some value. Now, this is nice for reading go, values from like a sensor. Here we go, and so, for instance, the light sensor, we're going to read exactly. from the PB Hub Analog 4, like we showed earlier, the light sensor is connected to channel 4 which we can actually ch change in here. And we're going to set that to a variable called light value. And then we're going to return the light value. Right? So we could do all sorts of fun stuff like get the value. Right now I'm just using it to return to do something and feed into whatever. Sure exactly but that what gives you the idea is, if you read and you return light value, a little bit now later. we can drop it in on the screen. Kind of like we did with our temperature. We can do the same thing with the light sensor. So the thing to keep in mind here is two yeah. things. One. LCD will print the variable the value or at print whatever location the in the X and whatever location in the Y that we did. Now, if we don't, if we don't change y, this, like it defaults no to zero, 0, if you guys we're going to write it right over this one and we'll never see it. So X we pick some like value to the right. You know, using 100 a is nice and we're using a really big font and of 56, y is w and, and then we'll be able to see that value. The same as and Z is screen, another one that so goes down and up, but the same we don't need Z. We'll do another function. Moisture level, we'll set moisture level variable to the value that is read from part uh, channel 2 in this in this PB hub, and then return the moisture level so that now we can write that in there. Pretty sweet. So, boom. That's cool. Now, <gasps> amazing. Part 1 is over. Time for part 2.